Good evening. I'm Brandon Parra. Today's topic is global warming. This is currently a hot topic, no pun intended, as scientists, politicians, and society in general seem to have opposing views to if it actually exists. So, has mankind influenced the weather of our planet? Have their products and their emissions created a hole in the ozone layer? Those who believe in global warming say we have done these things, and the rising temperature is causing our polar ice caps to melt quicker each season. Imagine a place where the polar ice sheets are melting, sea level is rising, and out of every 1 million air particles, 400 are carbon dioxide. Well, we're living in it. According to a recent article in Science News, which was published on November 28, 2017, the description I just read to you matched Earth over a little over 3 million years ago, this in the center of an epoch known as the Pliocene. For those of you who don't know what an epoch is, an epoch is the beginning of a distinctive period in the history of something or someone. Scientists are looking to warm periods in the past to understand how our planet might react as our global temperature rises. To many researchers, the best reference for today's warming is a more recent Pliocene, which lasted from 5.3 million to 2.6 million years ago. The mid-Pliocene was the last time atmospheric CO2 levels were similar to today's trapping heat and raising global temperatures to above the level Earth is experiencing now. New research is coming out about how the planet is responding to the Pliocene warmth. An example is the Arctic being 19 degrees Celsius higher than today, which led to trees going far to the north. Other researchers are simulating how the oceans, atmosphere, and land responded to the Pliocene temperatures, as the Pliocene temperatures soared. One study shows the warmth may have initiated huge changes in ocean circulation, setting up a huge overturning current in the Pacific Ocean, similar to the conveyor belt in the Atlantic, which drives the weather and climate. Here is an image showing how the Pliocene's ocean circulation differs from today's ocean circulation. As stated in the text, ocean circulation today is driven in part by a deep circulation pattern in the North Atlantic, or the top. The current flows north and then becomes cooler and saltier, causing the water to sink and then return southward in a conveyor belt-like circulation. In the warm Pliocene, some 3 million years ago, a similar conveyor belt may have been set up in the Pacific, or the bottom, due to the reduced rainfall in the North Pacific. I chose this topic because I believe it does exist and there is a serious threat towards mankind's future. I hope this presentation will sway your opinions and you can really see how bad this situation is. Thank you for listening.